What's going on students? Welcome to week three of home instruction. We're gonna start talking more about moon phases and how the moon affects the earth. It does have an effect on the earth and it affects our oceans more because the, the gravitational pull of the moon on the earth pulls the water and creates high tides and low tides depending on the moon phases. So we're gonna to touch basis on that moving forward. So the next part we wanna talk about what causes tides. There are two high tides and two low tides each day. Tides are caused by the pull of both the moon's gravity and the sun's gravity on the earth. The moon has a 70% effect on the tides and the sun has only a 30% effect on our tides. Changes in position of the earth, sun, and moon affect the height of the tides throughout the month. One thing to consider is that it says the moon has a greater effect. Well, the moon is much smaller than the sun. But the reason why the moon has such a greater effect on our tides is because of its distance from the earth. The moon is way closer to us than the sun is. So the moon has a greater gravitational pull on our planet as well as our tides. So there's a key term that you need to know, spring tides. Spring tides, these are the biggest uh, tides that you'll see. The high tides are exceptionally high and the low tides are very, 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 very far pulled out. During full or new moons, the earth, sun, and moon are nearly in a perfect straight line. This occurs twice each month during new moon and during full moon. The gravitational pull of the sun is added to the gravitational pull of the moon on the earth, causing the oceans to bulge a bit more than usual. This means that high tides are a little higher and low tides are a little bit lower. So when everything's in a straight line is when you have greater uh, high tides and greater low tides. And the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon work together to pull the water on the earth. Same thing in this situation. It's pulling on this side and it's pulling on this side. But since it's in a straight line, it will cause unbelievably high and low tides. Take a look at these two pictures side by side. This is the exact same location. You can tell by the half dead tree here and the half dead tree here, as well as the rock formation out there and here. The top picture is a low tide and the bottom is a high tide. Notice that there's a huge difference between the two. Located halfway between the equator and the North Pole on Canada's stunning East Coast, the Bay of Fundy is a unique coastal environment. The Bay of Fundy is renowned not only for its tides, but also for geological discoveries, including dinosaur fossils and marine life. The Bay of Fundy are the highest tidal ranges in the world because of an unusual combination of factors, including resonance and the shape of their bay. The bay's shape and bottom topography are secondary factors contributing to the Fundy's high tides. The average tidal range worldwide is only about one meter or three feet, three inches. Neap tides are the complete opposite. Neap tides are when the sun, the moon, and the earth form almost like an L shape and the gravitational pull is being pulled in this direction as well as this direction. So the sun and the moon are working against each other, which also affects our tides. Seven days after a spring tide, the sun and moon are at a right angle to each other and produce neap tides. These occur twice each month. Neap tides occur during the first and third quarter when the moon appears half full. When this happens, the bulge of the ocean caused by the sun partially cancels out the bulge of the ocean caused by the moon because they're working against each other. This produces moderate tides, meaning that high tides are a little lower and low tides are a little higher than average. So let's take a look at neap tides. Uh, this is happy people on a beach. 
The top picture is a low tide and the bottom one is the high tide. As you can see, there's not as much of a difference. You can still see that the water is coming up here where here it's right up to their feet. Notice that there is only a small difference between these two. For science!